Greetings and welcome to Tubamp Theta. I am Odie, the third, showing you the new D Lab ATC. See what you think. Super cool, don't you think? So we meet again. D Lab Tubamp Theta with Odie, the third, reappearing after about four years. Found him in my basement. I thought, what a perfect little guy to introduce my new audio test set. Let me show you what this thing does. It's backed by popular demand. Here we go. Long ago, D-Lab produced the stereo amp test center. Here it is. This is the last one. I sold about a dozen of them. This is an audio dummy load with built-in watt meters used to check stereo systems so it was a two-channel unit with built-in L-pads so you could hook up external monitor speakers. After I built this, a lot of you guys said, hey, I thought you made Minoral tube amps, so why don't you make a Minoral audio test set? And Odie agrees. So what we did is we built it. Here it is, a Minoral audio test set. This guy has the built-in watt meter, the L-pad, just like the stereo model. But this one has a few more perks. Let me show you what it does. So let's uh, go through the features of the new D-Lab Minoral Amp Test Center. Now you guys said, hey, if I'm working on my amp, I want a 4 ohm and an 8 ohm load, not just an 8. That's what my first test center had. This one does have 4 and 8 ohm modes, okay? So if you take a look up here, you'll see the different modes which correlate with the mode switch. So mode 1, you're a load 4 ohm. There's load 8 ohm. Then you have the speaker 4 ohm, which is variable, and a speaker 8 ohm, which is also variable, okay? Here is your amplifier input. You can either come in through the old banana rama jacks or a quarter inch jack. This is your meter mode select switch. So if you're at 4 ohm, obviously you put it to 4, right? Here is a switch that turns on an internal speaker. I'll show you that. And here is your speaker output mode. So when you're in the variable mode, you use this L-pad, and it gives you a variable output. So not only can you monitor your amp, but you could also use this thing as a soaker for your amp. And you can go into it, say, with a 50 watts and come out with 5. We'll take a quick look under the hood. You can see how she's built. There is the internal monitor speaker I told you about. There is the L pad that does your soak function. And there's your old dummy Ramus loads, okay? And there's some stuff underneath, but I'm not going to pull the chassis out. Anyway, it's very well built. It's a super cool little unit. I'm hoping these will be a hit. So here's a live demo of the Amp Test Center through an Optiplex amp, and I'm monitoring on an oscilloscope through the scope test point on the front of the test set, okay? So I'm gonna bring up the amp. I'm injecting about a 700 hertz tone, so there it is, okay? And you can see there's no tone, but you can see the watt meter doing its thing. Now if you said, hey, what does that sound like? You can go into, say, variable eight, okay? You can hear it. And then with your L-pad, you can turn it down or turn it up. Which is really nice for bench testing. Because sometimes, even though it looks good on the scope, you might want to also listen to it. So let's say you have an external speaker that you want to connect to monitor rather than the internal speaker. Simply flip that switch and the internal speaker's off. Connect your external speaker, select the mode, whether it's 4 or 8 ohm variable, and you can use the L-pad and have variable output to your test speaker. Well, there it is. Another fine use of my time at D-Lab. But I'm doing this because you guys asked for it. So there it is, the Minoral Audio Test Center. And yep, I'm sure you saw in the background, serial number two is in process. And I have enough parts to build number three, but that's probably going to be about it, unless these things sell like hotcakes. So let's go, man. You guys want it? 
here it is. Thank you for tuning in to Two Vamp Vita. See you again. Odie, out. <laughs>